So today I challenge you all to maybe step out of your comfort zone in some way, but don't do it on your own because you won't do very well. Just, I just want to encourage you in your daily lives to just remember that you are chosen. It wasn't your idea. It wasn't your plan. This was the idea God had for her life. He has a different plan and idea for each of our lives, but all of them lead back to knowing um, that you are chosen for his purpose and to lead people back to him and his love. Hey GGPs, gracious grown people. This is Gigi. I'm happy to introduce today's vlog because Jan produced the segment that focuses on the wonderful 2015 movie called The War Room. It was very inspirational and the goal of the Gigi and Company vlog is to always uplift you and encourage and inspire you. Every day is an opportunity to try something new that you've never done before. So in this vlog, you'll get to experience the first one that she's done, her own vlog segment. And thanks again for watching. Greetings, GGPs, gracious grown people. Happy Sunday. I am just leaving church where we had a wonderful service and we had a couple of surprise guests. If you've seen the movie War Room, you'll know when I tell you that Danielle was our guest. She played the little daughter and um, she gave a uh, superb performance to be so young. Well, she and her mother, Winter, were our guests today. The little girl who played Danielle, her name is Alina Pitts and her mother's name is Winter. They talked about how she came to be in the film and a whole lot of other things that were very inspiring. Hi everyone, my name is Alina. Um, it sounds like a pretty normal name, right? I look like a pretty normal girl and I have a pretty normal family, most of the time. Just a few years ago, I was living a pretty normal life. Normal as in going to school, playing sports, and so on. I like to call this area of my life my comfort zone. A man once said, life begins at the end of your comfort zone. What this means is that you can't experience the life God has for you until you step out of your comfort zone. God just cannot use you to do great things if you refuse to step out. Hey, you know what? I thought your jump rope routine was really good. I just got a notification that you moved money from our savings into your checking account. Can we talk about this later? Tony, you should go see your practice tomorrow. I'm out of town this week. When were you going to tell me? I just did. I wish I lived at your house. Whenever my parents are together, they just fight. Lord, call us to battle. God says that without him we cannot be successful. Sure, you can make a million dollars and be what the world would call successful, but without God and his help, you cannot be successful in his eyes. Trying to accomplish this on your own is not only tiring, but it is also useless. So today I challenge you all to maybe step out of your comfort zone in some way, but don't do it on your own because you won't do very well. Um, so if you're quiet, maybe try and make a new friend. If you're really loud and exuberant, maybe listen to the quiet person hear what they have to say. Um, so thank you. I know that lives were changed um, during the filming, the people that were in it were touched and moved and praying those things for real. And then I know that lives will be changed for eternity. Just, I just want to encourage you in your daily lives to just remember that you are chosen. It wasn't your idea. It wasn't your plan. This was the idea God had for her life. 
He has a different plan and idea for each of our lives, but all of them lead back to knowing um, that you are chosen for his purpose and to lead people back to him and his love. And so that is what we are grateful for. That's what we're most grateful for. And that will forever be the testimony that we share when it comes to uh, her being able to be a part of that movie, that he gets to be able to use her life to be able to tell his story and reach millions of people for eternity. Amen. And so being able to write a book with my 12-year-old has just been so much fun and so great. So it is a fictional book, and it is called Lena in the Spotlight. It's a series. Um, her first book will be out April 28th. Um, on Amazon. It's a fictional series and you can trust it in the hands of your girls, your daughters, your granddaughters, your nieces, because it is her story um, of how God chose her to be a part of this movie, but it's in a fun fictional way where she gets to go on this adventure, but in the end how she sees that God has given her a platform for something much bigger. So that's Lena in the Spotlight, comes out in April. And then I do have um, Resources, like I said, I was doing recreating resources for girls before the movie came out. Mm -hmm. The one I have here is called For Girls Like You, and it is about 70 devotionals um, for young girls, just devotionals for girls to, to be able to see how God is working in the details of their everyday lives. And so if you have a girl that you want to just encourage um, her to get into God's Word and to be able to see how God is involved in the things that, that she cares about, thank you. Amen. Amen. I'm just so happy that you all were able to come this morning and to share your stories. Um, what has prompted you to kind of go around um, and, and share this? Um, I just think um, being able to share what God's doing, we can't take credit for anything um, after she was in the movie, or um, just being able to share that God, that it was all God, and just you know, sharing our testimony. Amen. And, and I will say that it was so inspiring to show that when God's purposes and the opportunities come together with prayer, the amazing thing that he's done. So, so thank you so very much for sharing. God bless you both. fuzzy and dark brief section of three frames where there's no sound we want to pick some music for that and then down here where we just have the still photos mm. and maybe use that same song well it looks like you got just about everything done it's really good Jan. I had these challenges but they were different than the challenges that I was expecting it wasn't as hard as I thought I didn't think I was going to be able to do it but I did. Kind of fun. <laughs> and as always, you know what to do below. Like, like us, comment, subscribe, and, and invite somebody to watch. watch.